Hello everyone. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to implement differential drive in Isaac Sim for any two-wheel robot using Action Graph and RS2. And later, we will control the robot with a gaming console. I am making this video in two parts. In the first part, I will be using TurtleBot 3, which we already imported as a URDF in Isaac Sim in the previous tutorial. We will make the Action Graph for differential drive and control the robot using RS2 twist messages. In the next part, we are going to control this robot using a gaming console joystick, and then I will show two other robots, and how we will use the same differential drive action graph to control them. So to understand the whole concept, please watch both parts, so that you will be able to create this for your own robot too. So let's start with part 1. Let's open Isaac Sim. Here also I am using the workstation installed Isaac Sim. Wait until it is fully loaded. Once Isaac Sim is fully loaded, open the TurtleBot3.usd file which we created in the last tutorial. Otherwise, you can get this USD file from the description of the last tutorial where I have uploaded it. Now you can see TurtleBot3.usd is fully loaded. Run the simulation and confirm that it is working. Yes, it's working. And as you know, we had given direct target velocities to its joints in Isaac Sim itself. Here you can see that for the two joints of each wheel in the property panel, we had given a target velocity directly. So now we want to control it using RS2. Make this target velocity zero. And do the same for the other joint too. Run the simulation. Now the robot is not moving. So we will start creating the Action Graph for Differential Drive. Action Graph is a node-based visual scripting feature in Isaac Sim, used to control robots and simulation behavior. NVIDIA has also provided a Differential Drive action, which you can get here. Tools, Robotics, OmniGraph Controllers, then click Differential Controller. Add the target prim, select TurtleBot3 underscore burger, and click OK. On the left side in the stage panel, you can see that differential drive action graph is added. Right click on it and click open graph. At the bottom you can see the action graph. Let's extend this panel a little bit. Okay, so here is the problem. They have given an action graph for differential drive, but it is not ROS2 based and it is incomplete. So go to the stage panel again. Right click on Differential Drive Action Graph and delete it. Now we will create our own Action Graph. Right click anywhere in Stage Panel, Create, Visual Scripting, and click Action Graph. Now drag this Action Graph into Graph Group and rename it. Let's put Differential Underscore Drive. Now click Edit Action Graph. First, we need on Playback Tick, drag this into the working area. This block gives ticks during the simulation. Then we need RS2 context. This will enable the ROS2 interface inside Isaac Sim. As we are using ROS2 twist messages, we need a subscriber node for geometry underscore MSGS slash twist. So add ROS2 subscribe twist in the graph. Connect ROS2 context and tick to exec in. Now we will add differential controller. This will calculate wheel velocity commands for differential drive robots. And add articulation controller. This will apply calculated velocities to the robot joints. Let's extend this panel more so we can see the whole graph clearly. As RS2 subscribe twist block receives velocities in a three vector array, we need two break vector three blocks. One for angular velocity. One for linear velocity. Connect. Angular velocity to break vector, and then Z to desired angular velocity. Next, connect exec out and exec in. For linear velocity, we will add scale to from stage units before break vector. Now connect linear velocity to value and then its conversion result to vector input. 
then connect x to desired linear velocity. Also connect on playback tick time to dt of differential controller. Now the velocity output from differential controller will go to articulation controller. Next, we need to provide joint names to the articulation controller. So add constant token nodes, we need two of them. We also need to create an array of joint names. So add make array block. Click plus sign to add one more input. Connect both constant tokens to make array inputs. And finally connect the array output to joint names. One thing left. Connect tick to exec in of articulation controller. Now our graph is completed. Before going ahead, let's save this action graph so that we can reuse it in any project. Go to stage panel, right click on the action graph and click save selected. I already have one saved from before, so I will just overwrite this file and keep the same name, differential underscore drive dot usd. I will attach the download link in the description so that you can verify this even if you made some mistakes. Now delete the graph from stage panel. Go to content and look for the directory where we saved our action graph. Drag it into stage panel. Here you can see our action graph is added. Let's open it and verify once. Everything looks correct. Now let's understand the next steps in the action graph. The ROS2 context is added to enable ROS2 communication in Isaac Sim. Then the ROS2 subscribe twist node receives twist messages from the topic slash cmd underscore vel. These twist messages contain two values, that is linear velocity and angular velocity. These velocities go to the differential controller node. This node calculates the speed for the left wheel and the right wheel of the robot. To calculate correct wheel speeds, the differential controller needs three important parameter, that is wheel radius, wheel distance, and maximum linear speed. So for that, go to your browser and go to the TurtleBot 3 official page. Under the specification section, you can see that the maximum translation velocity is 0.22 meter per second. So let's put this value here. Then next is the wheel distance and wheel radius. Scroll down, and here you can see the wheel distance is 160 millimeters, and the wheel diameter is 66 millimeters. So let's put these values. Remember, here we need to put values in meters. Now go to the stage panel. Copy the joint names from wheel joints. And paste them here in the constant token nodes. Do the same for the second wheel also. Now click on Make Array. And here you can see both joint names added correctly. OK, now let's start the simulation. But you can see we are getting an error, saying no robot prim found. So stop the simulation first. Now click on this filter icon here, and then tick physics articulation roots. Here you can see that the articulation root is assigned to a underscore namespace underscore base underscore footprint. But the articulation root should be on the main robot prim, like base underscore link or the full robot. So click on this prim and scroll down in the property panel and look for articulation root. We need to remove this. Just click on the cross sign and click remove. Now we will add the articulation root to base underscore link. So look for base underscore link in the stage panel. Right click on it, add, physics, and click articulation root. And now in the articulation controller, we will give the same prim as the target prim. Now run the simulation. Still we are getting the error. Here the reason for the error is. Our URDF file is not in proper format because as per Isaac Sim, joints and all other things should be inside the base link 
or the articulation root, so that Isaac Sim can navigate through all the joints. To solve this, we will give TurtleBot 3 underscore burger prim as the articulation root. So first delete the articulation root from base underscore link. Then add the articulation root for TurtleBot 3 underscore burger. Here you can see the articulation root is added in the property section. Final step. Change the target prim to TurtleBot 3 underscore burger in the articulation controller. Now run the simulation. And now we don't have any error. That means our action graph setup is done. Okay, let's move further. Now as here in the action graph we are subscribing on the twist message. We need to publish the twist message to control our robot. Open a new terminal and source the ROS2. Make sure that you have installed geometry underscore msgs package from RS2. If not, run this command before moving further. Now we need to pass publishing message. I am just pasting the whole command. Let's understand this. It is publishing the message on topic name cmd underscore vl. You can confirm the topic name here in Isaac Sim. Next, we are using twist message type. And this is its format. In the linear velocity array, we are going to give value to x. As our action graph is like that, here you can see x value is going to desired linear velocity. Same for angular velocity. We are giving value from z. But first, we are giving linear velocity and check. So let's give 2.0 as linear velocity and hit enter. Now run the simulation. You can see our robot is moving. You can also see the values in action graph. Click on differential controller. And you can see the desired velocity. It got as 2.0 which we have published. Accordingly, it is giving velocity commands to the articulation controller. Here you can see the calculated values for each joint. And their respective joint names. Now let's give angular velocity and check. Run the simulation. You can see our robot is moving in clockwise direction. To move it in anti-clockwise direction, just give negative velocity values. And you can see robot is moving in anti-clockwise. So we are complete with part 1 of this tutorial. In next part, we are going to control this robot with gaming console joystick. And we will see how we can use this action graph for other robots too. So please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. And if you have any doubt, write it down in comments. As I read all the comments and try to solve your problems. Thanks for watching.